Well, to celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we are taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we have covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20. 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. For our third installment, we look back at the year 2001. It was the year a legendary hockey coach's career would come to an end. Bob Peters started the Bemidji State men's hockey program in 1966. He would go on to rack up 702 wins at BSU and 13 national championships. He decided to retire following the 2000-2001 season, and our intern reporter, Kerry Cameron, was on hand to report on Coach Peters' final game at BSU. It's something unpredictable. But in the end is right, I hope you had the time. It's been a long 41 years, but I loved every minute of it. I do it again in a Minnesota minute. I'm so proud to be able to call myself a coach and a coach at Bemidji State University. To be a member of this faculty, I'll always be grateful. To the president, the Minnesota State University system. And the Beavers are going to have their day in the future. We've laid the groundwork the last three years. And I'm proud to have been a pioneer in this great sport of hockey. Peters was not finished with hockey after retiring as the Beavers head coach. He went on to serve as commissioner of College Hockey America Conference. Peters celebrated his 80th birthday last year and lives in Bemidji with his wife, Mary Lou. You can watch that entire story on our website, lptv.org, tomorrow. Next Wednesday night, we take a look back at a story from 2002. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.